so in this video we'll go over a small project how you can make a telegram group where you send automated messages uh, after seeing the details on the Covin API so Covin API is an API for getting the information of <coughs> vaccine availability you know vaccine availability is very less so people are creating these kind of uh, notification alerts which help them uh, get to know the availability whenever there is vaccine slot available so that they don't have to waste time so small steps we will take uh, to create such a functionality where whenever a slot is available on the Covin API uh, we directly push it to telegram group so that we know the slot is available and then we can go and book okay so let's get started so we'll follow these steps so first step is to uh, understand the structure of the uh, Covin APIs right how they are uh, how they are structured or what is the data pattern they are using so that we know uh, how we can code second we will uh, see how we can uh, create a bot and create a group right earlier I started with the bot and thought that I will create a bot but eventually bot was not needed even a group will work but a, for even to send a message to a group an automated message you need a bot right so we'll see how that bot is used yeah, used then we'll write the python script right uh, we'll ping the covin api get all the data that we want we extract the information we want so the data we get has lot of different uh, sort of data points some are important some are not important for us right for us the most important is the availability right so we will filter that information and if you are giving that information to somebody uh, who is just looking for availability lot of uh, information is not uh, important so we have to extract or filter out and then we have to push that information to the telegram group in an automated uh, manner right and optionally we have to uh, run the script uh, every minute or every uh, five minutes whatever frequency you can decide because we have to keep on looking for the slots we have always have to ping the api and see how many slots are available and if slots are available uh, we have to push to the telegram uh, group okay so let's get started uh, first we will understand the structure of the covin apis okay so this is the official website uh, where they say the covin public apis uh, find appointment and download va vaccine certificates these apis are available for use by all 30 uh, third party application these uh, data may be 30 minutes old and uh, the limit is 100 API calls right some conditions etc are there right but anybody can use this uh, application so we'll see what kind of data structure they are following so there are essentially two APIs which are very important find by district and find by pin so we will use uh, find by district because if you use find by pin uh, there are a lot of pin codes right you will have to make a lot of API calls so that's why I started with find by pin but then uh, later moved to find by district okay so we'll use find by district and uh, right here we can say what kind of uh, data we get right we'll also see in the URL so I had earlier uh, put in some data I'll just try to see if we, I can get that URL right so uh, this is the API uh, uh, sorry not this one calendar by district sorry yeah calendar by district is what we will use so this is for today right so we are saying uh, this is the URL and uh, let's see what kind of data we get so we get some data yeah, right and this is not readable so what you can do is read it in the network tab right here you can uh, read it better so very simply we understand that the data we are getting is in a in a dictionary format right where sentence is the dictionary and the and the value the key of the dictionary and the value is a list right uh, so we get we are getting uh, centers right so these are the vaccination center centers that are there and each center has some details and each uh, center has sessions right so so centers are there these and each center has sessions and uh, sessions are what sessions are let's see sessions are the basically for that day right so some maybe this 
this center only has one session uh, this uh, center has this only this also has one session uh, right this has multiple sessions so you can see this has five sessions so sessions are nothing but for that vaccination center uh, for different dates so 21 what is the availability one is available right uh, 22 uh, 0 is available 24 4 are available 25 uh, 0 is available so uh, simple structure is there centers are there and centers have sessions and sessions have uh, different uh, so basically these are different days right and uh, and uh, maybe I can add the district right so there is a district district has different centers each center has different session over different days right so this is the basic structure of the api okay so uh, this we have done right we have understood the basic structure of the api now how telegram uh, bot and groups work so basically we'll have to create a bot and we'll have to create a group right so this bot will push the message to the group right this i learned after uh, doing some kind of uh, research online so let's create a simple uh, bot in telegram very simply you can create there is a bot in fact to create a bot right which is called the bot father so if i say new bot right it will create a bot so i will i will, I will say demo uh, covin telegram something like that and also have to give a bot uh, right i have to uh, give the name uh, as the bot right maybe I'm, i'll just repeat this okay so bot is created right very simply so this is also done so if you just put a uh, bot father right and then this bot will come if you search for bot father this will come and then if you message new bot new bot will be created very simply and a group so group creating creation is nothing just you have to create a group i will create coven uh, demo telegram right and i will maybe add uh, one of my a uh, friend right and just because we have to add somebody and uh, also I will uh, yeah that's it so I, I created another group now let's go to the real thing we start writing the script so we'll ping this API get the data extract for the information we want that is the availability of the vaccine slots and then if the slots are available push to telegram and that's it okay so let's uh, now move towards the script okay this is the script so i'll remove this or just comment this so first is we'll define a function all right or maybe we define a, a url so we say covin base base covin url which is the url we want to hit right this we can get from here okay so i'll put this code in description so you don't have to worry so i'll remove this part because this will keep on changing district id will be different for different districts so i'm keeping it like a base okay and then uh, so this is our base url right and uh, also i will import imp request so these are this is the library for the uh, requesting any external API right I'll also import date time so I can say from date time import date time okay because the date it keeps on changing so this API is such that the date you have to pass is today's date right and then tomorrow you will have to pass tomorrow's date so that's why we have to have a variable uh, we can say now is equal to I'm just getting the today's date right and we can say today date is equal to now dot strf time so this is string formatting and uh, you can just simply do like uh, you know this uh, right if you don't you can check the string formatting what i am trying to do is get the date in this format dd mm uh, y, y, y. so this is how i can get okay now i will create a function uh, fetch data from COVID, right? And district per district, uh, maybe district ID. This just a function, right? So we said 
we will first fetch ping the API and uh, fetch data right so we fetch data from the Kogan API so how we, we can do it right uh, URL uh, we know but for final URL is equal to base uh, Kogan URL right plus we have to add that uh, query params so what we can do is query params we can create we can say query params is equal to question mark uh, district ID is equal to right and date is equal to and then I can do dot format and I can pass these values so if one is district ID right and and second is the today date right so I can do this district ID right so this will create that string and I can do this and to send a request I can just say request dot get and the final URL and let's print now okay and uh, to run this I, I can just say the that if you are running if uh, name is equal to is equal to main that means you are running from the command line then just call this uh, function so I am just running uh, not completing the whole program I am just running step by step right so first step we are trying to see if that works now the district ID is uh, all district have IDs right so for a particular district I have 142 ID so we'll we'll try to run from Python if this works or not okay so district ID you can there's an API to get that district ID as well uh, this gives district ID but uh, we'll go over there but let's say 142 is one district because we know that there is this API gives a response when I hit in the browser let's see if uh, when I hit in the uh, from the Python uh, does it give or not okay so I'm running it by control and build in sublime you can do you can go to uh, tools and build okay so now it's it so it's hitting but it's getting 403 so 403 is forbidden so that means I am not able to hit this API right so maybe there is some issue right so let's search Python uh, 403 right so we are getting this forbidden error right so I'm also telling you the process you have to follow once you are doing these kind of things right it's not straightforward you have to search on stack overflow sometimes you have to understand things right so here I search and found something it says uh, you have to define some headers okay so I have to define some headers I'll define headers and uh, then these headers uh, you have to pass in the request okay I'll say headers is equal to headers Right. so this is what uh, this person is saying I have to pass these headers okay let's see now if it works okay we got 200 so 200 means success right okay so we got the data and uh, and we can print the data as well so I'll print response.txt so this is again the request library you should check out what different parameters it has but yeah we got a lot of data so all the data uh, which was seen here uh, you can see this is uh, Janjit Nagar right so we can also sort of verify this is the same data so from Python also uh, we are able to call this API okay now we uh, we call this API for one district so I made this uh, script per state because for per state uh, different uh, people might be interested right you can make it per uh, district as well so we'll just uh, try to make it for Delhi state okay so what we can say Delhi districts so I'm just sort of uh, keeping all the Delhi districts here right district IDs and how can I get all the district IDs of uh, Delhi this API I can use right uh, v2 admin I had uh, used this so I'll just try to see if I can get it no I cannot so uh, v2 admin location districts v2 admin locations 
district and then the state id or the state location states okay location states this will this should give me all the states okay i got the states now uh delhi's id state id is what uh, nine okay and then to get all the districts i have to do district or state id okay uh districts and state id which is nine okay great so i got all the districts of delhi so there are different districts right so i'll just manually uh, type in here what are those districts sometimes you have to do some manual work as well right or you can call it in the api uh, also but since this data will not be changing i'm manually just adding right so from 140 to uh, 1 uh, for 50 i think 11 districts are there right 46 and uh, yeah so 11 districts are there we can count these as well right 4 5 6 7 8 uh, 9 10 11 right so these are the delhi districts because we have to fetch data for all the districts right so we here fetch for only one district we can create a function to do that so we can say fetch data uh, for state right so here we can pass the district ids okay and what we can do very simply just call this function and uh, and uh, we'll call it in a for loop right so we can say for district id sorry district id in district ids i i will call this right and for each district id i will call and uh, rather than calling for the this function here i will call here and uh, I'll call for the state and I will pass this on. So what this will do is for each of the district, right, it will call these, uh, call this uh, API. So you will have 11 API calls and uh, this data will be printed. Now let's see again, does this work? Okay, so we are getting a lot of data, right? So a lot of data we are getting. So 11 uh, sort of API calls we made and uh, this data so it took around uh, took around 3.6 now, now you understand right if we do it by pin it will take a lot much more uh, time right so we got this uh, we got all the data now our job is to filter the data we don't have to uh, we don't have to uh, you know share all the data we only have to extract the availability again going back to the uh, structure of the data mm. availability is inside the session right so there are centers and inside centers there are uh, sessions and inside session this is the parameter we want capacity for dose one because dose one is what is uh, right now being given so let's see how we can do it so we'll create another function generally i try to keep the function small and, and create it in different uh, functions for any any kind of uh, task we are doing so we'll say extract uh, data right extract whatever uh, availability data you can say availability data right and we can pass the response here okay whatever response we got you can convert that response into json very simply just say response.json okay this is again property of the request library right now just we'll just print print all the centers so this gives all the centers right so we can say for centers in uh, response json dot centers right and we'll print uh, maybe center name center id and uh, name all right here you can see the structure so there is center centers and uh, the center key if you do you will get a list the first element each element is a center and there is a key called center id and there is a key called name right so those keys we are printing will remove this so that less data is printed so here what we are doing is we are printing all the center ids and center uh, names 
okay we are calling uh, nothing happened because okay we didn't call this function sorry <laughs> my bad we have to call this function also right response <clears throat> now i'm calling see great so you get all the center ids and the names lot of lot of different uh, centers are printed right you can count also how many centers are there in uh, very simple you can say count equal to uh, zero and uh, count whenever uh, you are going inside one center count plus one right you are increasing the counter and in the end you just print center count is uh, whatever count let's see how many centers are there so <clears throat> so this this is the total uh, 56 is in, in one district actually this is not the correct number right every district has centers right so uh, one district has 56 center one dis district has 66 centers uh, right uh, different uh, then one district has 46 so you can see that uh, 92 centers are there right a lot of data so now we are able to uh, so i'll remove this because this is not very important right no you should not do any computation which is just uh, for the sake of it because uh, anyway this function is slow so you have to do on fast mode so <clears throat> now we have uh, got the all the uh, different centers now we have to extract the, what is the data which is important for us availability dose so now we'll just ex extract that and for every inside every center there is a session in center uh, sessions right so there is a sessions key sessions key is there and i will now print the availability and uh, i'll just add availability of the dose one okay <coughs> So I added availability of dose one and also I'll just put it, I'll add uh, the minimum age, right? Because this is also important parameter. Okay. So now uh, we will print the center ID and the, or rather, uh, yeah, we can print the center ID, the name and how much is available and what is the uh, minimum limit. So let's type this. Okay, see a lot of data. Uh, so zero zero is available, right? Again, lot of uh, blank rows. So we don't want that. We want whenever there is available. So we can put an if condition. So if uh, availability is greater than zero, so if it's available, right let's see now only uh what happened okay some error so this should there should be an indent here right like an indentation okay now you see only where the availability is there so lot of uh, places the and mostly i see for 45 no nothing for 18 right but we want for 18 because uh, that is and uh, we'll put it as 18 so this is what we want right we don't want for all the age groups only for 18 and another syntax error what happened okay it's equal to equal to right not let's try now okay i think the call is going but nothing uh, there's no availability for 18 let's try with 45 uh, we get lot of so for 45 there is lot of availability uh, age groups 45 and above for 18 to 44 uh, there is nothing right uh, okay now we'll just put it in one uh, sort of a message so this is the message we want to give right remember uh, this we have done we have fetched that we have extracted the information we want right we are just uh, extracted so we'll put the information we want as message 
and we can do a string formatting here also so pin code or we can add right the name of the center you can keep it as uh, whatever information you want to display to the users and slots how many slots are available right and uh, what is the minimum uh, age okay and you can do dot uh, format and you can pass all these uh, values here right so i'll remove the print <clears throat> then right so what i'm doing is just uh, So center ID, remember the pin code is for the center, not for the session. So that's why I'm saying center dot pin code, center dot name, but session dot dose one and uh, minimum uh, capacity. Right. This is our message. This is what we want to send, <coughs> right? And then we can say uh, send message telegram and whatever the message is right you might be wondering what this is uh, we have not defined this function we'll define it right so we can say def send a message telegram and whatever message and to uh, send message to telegram is very easy so we had defined uh, we'll define one api url uh, telegram api url api url telegram this again after certain search uh, I was on the internet only I was able to get it so this is very simple uh, API uh, yeah this is the one right so <clears throat> URL right I'll just uh, Uh, this is the one okay. so the bot we created one bot right so that is the bot url you have to uh, sorry wait a bit. that is the url you got this is the bot uh, token right we have to give a bot token here so we can say bot and uh, this is the token and I'll just put it as a string okay and ID I'll just put it as something like group ID because this we have to replace with the ID of the group we created so we'll do that and text uh, I'll keep it open okay now what we can do is <clears throat> uh, final telegram URL uh, URL is equal to this API URL right dot replace so we'll replace the what we will replace the group ID so in <clears throat> telegram if you want to send message to a group you can send it using a bot and you have to mention the bot uh, token right here we mentioned that and you have to mention the group ID right so we'll replace um, the group ID with the group ID so group ID will find right so the group that we created right we created a group this is the group we created so what we will do is <clears throat> we'll add uh, we'll manage this group and make it public right and say demo uh, telegram COVID, right something like that will create a group save it right. and this is our uh, group ID and also we'll add the bot we had created so COVID demo telegram bot right so this is uh, right this was the name of the bot just, just let me check once this was the name of the bot right so we will add that bot also as a member of this group add member and we'll, we'll add this as a member of this group right so it has three members now so 
this is the bot right and group id we got what is the group id this uh, link that just the demo telegram coven that is the group id so we will replace uh, we will say group id is equal to don't uh, add this just the name right and whatever message you want to pass so final um, let's put final plus message right and then uh, to call the api just do a get request right so you can do request dot get and the final api right and then you can print the response as well okay let's let's try now okay some issue okay great 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 so the you can see the requests are going right you can see all the requests are coming whatever we are we are printing also right whatever the response is there so we are getting that great so this is done right so i think yeah that is it so you saw how we uh, how we saw that we created a sort of first we understood the structure then we created these bots is simple then we wrote a script which first fetch the data right and then we just sort of made it uh, by state so that it is more modular then we extracted the data we want we just want this uh, dosage and the minimum age and we don't want the whole json then we sent a message for sending a message simple uh, api request to this kind of uh, url if you send then uh, see a lot of uh, these messages are uh, going right and the last thing i think you have to run this script every 5 minute or every minute right so that you can do using a cron job right you can use a cron tab etc and do it so yeah that is it any question please let me know very good sort of a mini project you should try to understand it and and do it yourself okay any questions let me know thanks